Okay, today's video is going to be a little bit different of a format than I normally do. There will actually be some voiceover in, in this one. This is my second time trying to record the video. This is supposed to be a really quick um, kind of overview of using PCM Hammer to program your, uh, your PCM for cheap, free, pretty much, pretty much free. All that you gotta do is buy yourself uh, a dongle similar to this. There's a couple of other ones that it supports. Uh, I, I just happen to have the OBD Link LX. You've seen it before in my LS Droid videos. Uh, this is, I'm going over PCM Hammer instead because it's really a better tool for what I do. I say that because uh, I do this all on my workbench. I'm not doing anything in the vehicle, so I really don't need it to be a mobile app for my cell phone where I pulled out. Now, uh, Pete over at LS Droid, he is rewriting the entire Entire application uh, and it's going to be cross-platform here soon you should see that in a couple of months where LS droid will now be supported on the computer and on Apple devices here in the future uh, that's a different story though for a different video but yeah just keep an eye out for that LS droids getting completely rewritten but PCM hammer is really my tool of choice which I haven't done a video on yet I'm trying to keep this video under uh, 30 minutes uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really shooting for 10 minutes, but my first shot at recording a short video on this was 30 minutes long. So I'm starting over from scratch with it, trying to do something a little bit shorter. Uh, first thing we need to do is to actually install it. So let me show that real quick, and then uh, we'll we'll go over the rest of it uh, a little bit quicker than, than this. Okay, to install it, we're going to go to uh, Google and just search PCM Hammer. Uh, so... Then uh, PCM Hammer comes up, is a GitHub that he has, and you come in here. You can get the source code if you want to compile it from, from the source code or whatever, but all what we need to do is go to Downloads right now, um, and you'll scroll down here and you'll see... This may change because uh, this is just as he releases new releases, you can download the downloads for it. So we're, we're going to go with 14. It's the uh, most recent uh, release of it. And just download the zip file. Once you download the zip file, you'll have that in your downloads folder. Uh, and just unzip it. PCM Hammer, PCM Hammer 14, uh, and then just open the PCM Hammer application. It takes a second to load. Uh, don't worry, it didn't freeze. It's just takes a second to load. Once you've loaded it up, you need to power up your PCM. So pl plug in your Bluetooth device, turn it on, uh, and then you can connect to it. So uh, as you can see here, we just have the PCM, uh, I mean the PCM, the Bluetooth dongle, and our switch. I've shown in another video how to build this bench power supply, and it just has, I have a, I'm not a bench house like the bench tester for programming these which is just a little harness here um, and then we just have ground and 12 volts I know this is a mess mostly because I have this tangled in and I've taken this I had it in a wire loom but I, I took it out uh, when I moved um, so yeah a pr pretty simple build here takes uh, 15 20 minutes to to depend all the extra wires that you don't need and you only need the blue connector uh, with both the uh, the the newer and the older one. So this this one's a, a P01, so it's like a 0411 uh, PCM. So it's 512 uh, kilobytes of data on here. They they have a different plug at the bottom, but in the, in a different pinout. But the pinout for that we need just powering it up, ground, and uh, this is the same between both. So you can use the same harness on both of them. So now we have PCM Hammer opened up we can uh do read properties i don't it did not connect to the bluetooth let's try reinitializing it okay read properties yep there we go uh so we can see the uh programmed vin number on here the os id the calibration id and the hardware id so the most most people here, all what you're going to be doing is like changing a VIN, so that way VATS will work um, when you switch them. So if, if this is like a junkyard thing, most people on my channel would be because it's a repair channel, it's not a tuning channel. Uh, I know a lot of you guys might be doing tunes or maybe cloning uh, ECM that's already been tuned. You had a custom tune and you needed to clone it for some reason. Um, maybe your buddy's got the same build. I don't know. Uh, you shouldn't do that. It's kind of piracy, but you, you know what I mean. You can you can clone stuff whatever you need to do so um, to do this all that you're going to do for changing the VIN is go to change VIN uh, you just put put a new VIN number in there so let's go with a uh, five and 
Uh, oh, I don't have it written down. I thought I had it written down on there. Um, let's see, I forgot. It's it's this one. I think. Uh, there we go. That's a valid VIN. Um, so there we go. We change the VIN. Click OK. Uh, it's it successfully wrote it. When you do a VIN change, that's what you need the switch for. Just turn the switch off. Let it power down completely, which takes about 10 seconds. So like right now, it's pulling 0.97 amps, and then it'll go down to 0.39 amps. It is now completely shut off. You can safely com power down the entire thing. We've now powered it down. Let's turn it back on. Uh, with turning it back on, we're going to have to reinitialize. So I'll just reinitialize device here. It may not have connected to Bluetooth yet because I did pretty quickly do that. Yeah, Bluetooth's not connected yet. Uh, it would help if you turn it back on. <laughs> All right, read properties. There we go. Uh, we So, yep, we successfully wrote the VIN. That's really what the switch is for there is, is doing these VIN changes. You, you have to, anytime you change the VIN, you have to power it down and let it write the new VIN to it before you uh, reboot it. Uh, so now let's do a full read. We'll uh, fast forward through this. I'll probably do a voiceover during the full read and, uh, and go from there. So this is fast forwarded here. It really takes it about 11 minutes to read this whole PCM. It's the 512 kilobyte one if you are using a one megabyte so the newer pcms uh they take about 22 minutes to read so just double the time okay so this time i'm just going to show you how to how what would happen if you write the entire os without making any changes if you just were to try to write what you just read back to it uh which on say ls droid would take that full 11 minutes to to write it because it would go through and actually write the whole thing uh this pcm hammer it just will go through it'll it'll upload the kernel into it and then uh just go through and start checking everything and if everything's the same it, it won't uh write again uh so that saves a bunch of time and if it if it finds sections that are different, it will write the new sections to it. So if, if all of the values return the same, then there's no purpose of writing. So it, it just skips writing those sections, which saves a whole lot of time, especially when you're just doing small things like adding e-fans and stuff, which is just a small section of it. Uh, it's just going to do write that section and not the entire thing. So as you can see, we only spent like 44 seconds running through this to, to check and see if it needed to change anything versus doing a full write. Uh, so now let's go into Tuner Pro real quick, just just a real quick change in Tuner Pro to it. So that way it does uh, actually have to, to do a write to it and we can take a look at how long that small write takes. Um, so let's just turn off a couple of the DTCs just for the sake of turning them off. Um, so diagnose trouble code, and we'll, we'll just start setting these to, to three. Uh, three is disabled. Um, so we're just going to set a bunch of these to three. Uh, save that and then uh, we will go turn I, I have vats off on this one so we'll go turn it back on um, so I'm just hitting control F to find these really quick in here instead of having to, to do it so uh, vats uh, zero is a enabled one there's there's zero one zero one and two uh, two is disabled zero and one are both different forms of enabled uh, and let's go ahead and find something else to change. Uh, I'm not going to change any, any anything major in here. Um, let me think of something else. Ooh, uh, just we'll just do like a random one here. So just change that. Okay. So we've now changed stuff, which should have a couple of parameters different in there. We will uh, say, save this, but save it as a different one. We'll do uh, edited. All right. Uh, that's, that's now saved, and it should have automatically done the checksums for it. So let's go ahead and, uh, again, write to the entire thing. Yes. Uh, do the edited one. Click continue, and now it's going to go through and, and actually write this. Okay, so uh, it's fast forwarded again, and yeah, as you can see, it just writes the one section, makes it a whole lot quicker. Only takes a couple of minutes to do. Uh, so I know I was really quick with what I showed in Tuner Pro, but that's just not what I'm doing in this video. It's it's really just how to use PCM Hammer. 
Okay, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know I really just kind of glossed over everything pretty quickly here, but uh, I'm not trying to do an in-depth tuning video because it's just not something I do. I'm, I'm not a tuner. I just repair circuit boards. I, I get a lot of these uh, PCMs where I just need to do a VATS delete for somebody. Super easy to do. I mean, it, it cost me like 50 bucks to get the, the little dongle here, and, and I can do this and... You know, it's such a simple thing. You just charge 20 bucks to do it. It's no big deal, and you quickly make your money back. I know a lot of people charge a lot more than 20 bucks to do a VAT still eat, but I mean, that's my opinion. Locally here, you know, br bring it over. I'll, I'll do you a VAT still eats for 20 bucks. Just bring me just the PCM, pull it out of the truck for me. I'm not installing it in your truck, you know. Uh, pretty pretty simple stuff there, super easy to do. Um yeah, I'm really just, I'm not going to do an in-detail video on uh, Tuner Pro. There's other videos out there of it, um, and it's still not the best tool for, for doing, like, a full tune unless you really understand what you're doing uh, going through there. Uh, something like EFI Live or HP Tuners holds your hands a little bit more, a little, little easier to do your tune that way. And, you know, if it's your HP Tuners thing, you know, you can clone the PCM and, and do stuff. I mean, uh, that's that's kind of, they won't be happy about that, but it's something you, it is possible to do. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say you can't do that. It's it's totally possible. So uh, if, if I'm not mistaken on how HP Tuners works, I've never used it. So, so I could be completely wrong on this, but I believe HP Tuners works by VIN. And so you could continually tune the same VIN over and over again. I, I don't know. Uh, it may put a key in there. I, I really don't know how it works. I, I've never used it. Uh, but I'm assuming if you're cloning your PCM, you could continue to program that one for free. Uh, but I don't know. I, I could be completely wrong here. Um, but yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I tried to keep it nice and quick and short. Um, and uh, if you did like the video, go ahead and, uh, you know, give, give it a little thumbs up down there. Get, subscribe, you know, help, help me build this channel. Uh, I'm trying to get to monetized. I'm, I'm pretty close here. Uh, so that way I can fund doing more of these kind of projects where it's not necessarily something that I do every day, but I'd like to, to show some people. And uh, I, tomorrow I have an appointment to get all of this under control. I'm starting to look like a um, uh, what are those uh, Confederate uh, <laughs> Civil War reenactors here. I mean, come on, look at this. It's out of control. So, yeah, I got an appointment tomorrow to get that fixed, uh, so <laughs> be, be a little more under control in my, my next video, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.